Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch is number 32. It's the super easy ripple stitch and if you like ripple stitches but you're intimidated by the, all the increases and decreases in a ripple pattern, then this pattern is for you. This has got to be the easiest ripple stitch pattern I have come across and if you're a new crocheter and you like those beginner patterns patterns, this is a wonderful way to learn the concept of the ripple stitch. It's a one row repeat and if you're a more experienced crocheter and you want just a really fast fun uh, pattern that's a one row repeat then you're going to have a lot of fun with this stitch pattern. So this is my first sample and this sample I change colors every row. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and you're going to see that it does have a lot of ends when you change colors with every row but they're so beautiful that it's really worth the time and effort to just weave those ends in and have a lot of fun. Now if you change colors every two rows you can carry your yarn up the side and then hide it with your border but just a really fun stitch pattern. Now this stitch pattern here was made using the Premier Basics. This is a beautiful, affordable, four medium worsted weight yarn. You get a full seven ounce skein for about $2.99 from Premier's website. And I'll have a link in the description box if you want to view all these beautiful colors. Now this color here is color number 1115-08 pink and I'll be using this for my tutorial today. So this is my first sample that I made. And again, I change colors every row. Now the second pattern you're seeing, I used a Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I don't have the label, so I'm not sure the color name or number. I just thought it was a gorgeous fall color multi-pattern. But I just wanted to show you the difference of when you're picking the colors for the project that you're making, that just realize, see how gorgeous you can see the pattern and the ripples changing colors every row. But when you get to the multicolor, it's very hard to see the ripple pattern. I'm going to try to get my hand out of the way so you can see the light shining through it. You can see it a little bit this way when I hold it up, but when you lay it down, it kind of disappears. So you can see the effects of what the yarns have to do with when you're making a pattern, how it can really make a difference in how that pattern looks. The third sample I made, this is an off-white, but I love doing that classical white pattern. Something about a solid white pattern just has a classical look. No matter what pattern it is, it just has that beautiful classic look. So this is what it looks like using a cream color or off-white color. So those were my three samples. Now for today's pattern, it does have a stitch multiple of 10 plus 2. So if you're making a larger project, you would chain 10, chain 10 again, keep chaining in multiples of 10 until you get it to the width you want, then add two more chains. So for today's sample, I already showed you I'm using this beautiful Premier Basics 4 medium worsted weight yarn. And the label will tell you what size hook to use. This says use an I-9. I didn't have an I-9 upstairs, so I'm just using an H-8 5 millimeter. So you can either drop your hook size down one size or usually go up a size depending on the yarn you're using. But if you have an I-9, you can go ahead and use that. But today I'm using a size H hook. I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. We're going to begin and we're going to make a stitch sample and we're going to chain 32. So we're taking the multiple of 10 times 3 for 30 and adding 2 for a total of 32 chains. So yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook and this creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. 2, 3, 4, 5, Continue until you have 32 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row one. 
I have my chain with 32 chains and now we're going to go ahead and start row one. For row one we're going to skip the first two chains and work one double crochet in each of the next four chains. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, skip one, two chains, insert into that third chain from hook, work a double crochet. The two chains that you skipped will count as the first double crochet. So that is one of four. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, work a double crochet. That's two of four. Double crochet into the next chain. That is three of four. Double crochet into the next chain and that is four of four. Now we're ready to start our repeat, so if you need help, click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and you're going to repeat that across to the last six chains of the row. So let's begin. Yarn over, you're going to skip the next two chain, insert into the next chain, work a double crochet. That's one. Double crochet into the next chain. That's two. Double crochet into the next chain. That's three. Double crochet into the next chain. And that's four. You're going to chain two, one and two, and now we're going to double crochet, one double crochet in each of the next four chain. Yarn over, insert right into the very next chain, work your first double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain, that's two of four. Double crochet into the next chain, that is three of four. Double crochet into the next chain, and that is four of four. So when you look at your work, this was the start of the repeat where you skipped two chains, worked one double crochet in each of the next four chain, you chain two, and then you worked one double crochet in each of the next four chains, and that was the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two chain, double crochet into the next chain. That's one. Double crochet into the next chain. That's two. Double crochet into the next chain. That's three double crochet into the next chain, and that's four. You're going to chain two, which forms your top point, and now we're going to work one double crochet in the next four chains. Yarn over, insert right into the very next chain, work a double crochet. That's one. Double crochet into the next chain, That's two, double crochet into the next chain, that's three, and double crochet into the next chain, and that's four. So again, when you look at your work, you skip two chains, worked one double crochet in each of the next four chains, you chain two, and then one double crochet in each of the next four chains. So if you're working on a longer strip, then you would just repeat that repeat across until you get to your last six chains. When you get to the end of the row, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and six chains remaining. So now to end the row, we're going to yarn over, skip the next two chains, insert into the next chain, and we're going to work a double crochet. That's one. 
double crochet into the next chain. That's two. Double crochet into the next chain, and that's three. We're going to end the row with two double crochet into the last chain. Yarn over, insert into the last chain, work two double crochet. One and two. So row one is finished. Now row one is our base row and row two is going to be your repeat row. So again, this is a one row repeat. So after you work row two, that will be the row you continue working. So let's go ahead and start row two. We're going to begin with a chain three. One, two, and three. You're going to turn your work. This beginning chain three counts as your first double crochet. We're going to work a double crochet into that same beginning stitch. Follow your chain three down, yarn over, insert into that very top of that very first stitch going under both of those top loops, work a double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, going under both of the top loops, work a double crochet. That's one. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's two double crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. So now we're ready to start our repeat. So again, if you need help, this is where you're going to click back on the video, and you're going to start where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and you're going to repeat that across to the last six stitches of the row. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over. You're going to skip the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. That's one. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's two. Double crochet into the next stitch. And that's three. Now we're going to make our top point. We're going to be working into the chain two space. We're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet all in this chain two space. Double crochet into the chain two space. Chain two, that forms your top point, And then double crochet back into that same chain two space. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's two. And double crochet into the next stitch. And that's three. And that is the end of the repeat. So very simple repeat, so let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch, under the top two loops, work a double crochet. That's one, double crochet into the next stitch. That's two, double crochet into the next stitch. We're at our chain two space now, so we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet into that chain two space. Double crochet into the chain two. You're going to chain two, and then double crochet back into that same chain two space. So your top point is made. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's two. Double crochet into the next stitch. And that's three. So if you're working on a longer chain or a longer project, then you would repeat the repeat across until you get to the last six stitches. You have one, two, three, four, 
five stitches and then your ending chain counts as a stitch. So to finish the row, we're going to skip the next two stitches, work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then end the row with two double crochet into the top of this turning chain. So let's go ahead and finish the row, yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. That's one, double crochet into the next stitch. That's two, double crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. To end the row, we're going to work two double crochet into the top of this turning chain. Yarn over, insert into the top of the turning chain, which is the chain directly beside the top of that last stitch, and we're going to work two double crochet. One, insert back into that same turning chain and work your second double crochet. And that is the end of row two. So let me zoom out. So a very, very easy stitch pattern. Now if you're new to crocheting, you might want to mark the top of this beginning chain three when you work the rest of the rows. That way you know that you have to remember that is the last stitch where you're going to put those two double crochets when you're ending the row. So if it's easier, put those stitch markers in the first and last stitch so you know where they are when you're new to crocheting. So that's it. That is how simple this pattern is. Row two is the repeat pattern. So if you want to continue and make your sample a little bit bigger and keep practicing, then just click back on the video and repeat row two for the pattern. So here's those samples again, a very, very pretty. If you wanna make a scrap afghan and you have skeins of yarn with leftover, a little of this, a little of that, it's a great way to use up those oddball skeins of yarn that you have a little leftover. And then here's that multicolored sample. It's a very pretty pattern, very kind of lacy ripple. It just doesn't show up very well with this uh, type of yarn. And then the last sample was that beautiful solid white. And again, you're just repeating row two. So thank you everybody for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do the super easy ripple stitch. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting.